I thought the Grey Coins thing was only in uh, the palace. No, they appear other places. They usually appear in the Star World. Ah, uh, okay. Which is like something along the same lines. Yeah, this level's uh, annoying bubbles. because of the bubbles. Might as well be Bubble Bobble at this point. Oh my gosh, Bubble Bobble. I still have never played Bubble Bobble. Ah, oh, man. Okay, first Paper Mario, second Bubble Bobble. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, these guys are bothering me. I like how they're upside down inside the bubble. And, <laughs> wait, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? What's going on right there? <laughs> Use the blocks to your advantage, man. <laughs> you know, the last time I saw Bubbles was like, like, uh, recreational Bubbles, I'll say, not cleaning Bubbles. Um, I think it was like three years ago. Really? I feel like I haven't lived. <laughs> How do you know you haven't lived? Because I haven't seen bubbles. <laughs> bubbles are important stuff, man. Show off. <laughs> Yeah, that, I love how they hide the secret exit at like- Actually, this is the right exit. This leads oh, to the man, boss right. castle. Then I'm leaving. Get me out of this garbage. I, I'm gonna win that castle on my first try like I, I usually do. I'm going to warn you, this boss castle takes lots of patience. Of which I have none! Let us begin. Oh, it's this. Oh yes, it's this. I did this in AVGN Adventures. Yeah, there is something yeah. like that in there, isn't there? Except in AVGN Adventures, it's completely unfair. <laughs> that, that's it. That is kind of the gist of that game. Yeah. It's unfair for all the right reasons because it, it references all the games he's reviewed and hated. He's played a couple games that he likes. Yeah. Like Smash Brothers. Actually, most of the games he lets plays are... are it's games it's, it's likes, the games yeah. he reviews he hates. <laughs> oh, careful. They're falling spikes here. Like that. Yep. Gotcha, there's another one. There should be a checkpoint up ahead. I think. I can't guarantee it. Man, I'm doing really good, actually. You did that on your first try. That's actually very good. Ugh, Watch I out. See. yeah. They're slightly... Oh, okay. Why would I do this? Eh. Eh. Okay, so... You I'm got down. pretty far, though. And you got almost all the dragon coins. Oh, man. I still don't know why they call them dragon coins when it has, like, Yoshi on it. Because he probably wasn't Yoshi yet. Or something. I don't know, who knows? Who knows? It could be anything. Or Dragon Quest was just popular in Japan at the time. Yeah, that's true. Actually, it's always been popular. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, there was a point in time where Dragon Quest was more popular than Final Fantasy. There was a point in time when Final Fantasy was complete garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like now? Uh, maybe. What? <laughs> uh, wait. That fireball was supposed to bounce off that, I think. Yeah, I think the front block doesn't block him. The front block isn't doing its job. It needs to be fired. <laughs> Reformanded. I love how we're analyzing <laughs> that metagame of Mario. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, this is the part that definitely takes patience. Also, the boss of this castle is almost identical to the boss of the second castle. Oh. Uh. The difference is, is that every time he drops down from the ceiling, the walls close in slightly. So you gotta beat him fast. Man, I can only imagine the amount of debate that went on. Just on, like, how long this thing should be. Oh, like, I'm sure. Mm. Now that I'm thinking about yeah. it. 
I'm sure like so I was like, let's make it six blocks long. And so I was like, no, five. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like how long the duration oh, was. Oh, no. They ended up on four. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's like Bowser statues up there, so you might not want to drop mm. that down. Okay. You're supposed to imitate what goes on in... Oh, jeez. I don't think you need that, dude. Okay. I'll just get rid of it, then. Uh, it was always a pain in the ass in Mario 1 dodging those fireballs, and you always had to, like, jump up yeah. to get the mushrooms. At least, like, the feather feathers will come down for you. I was kind of hoping to duck under that fireball, by the way, and it didn't work. So it can... looks like you could, though. Yeah. Gotta remember those hitboxes. I always tell people the secret to getting good at fighting games is not actually looking at at the screen itself, but actually looking at your at your opponent. Yeah. Like if you're if you're not focused on your opponent, you're not gonna get good at a fighting game. You're just gonna be a button masher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's actually what I like about uh, Skullgirls, a recent fighting game. Um, I actually gave it to you for Christmas. Yeah, and I um, like it so far. Oh, you've played it? Yeah. Which, if you don't mind me asking, which character? Valentine. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, it seems as though everybody that picks it up when they first start, they like Valentine. Actually, there's something I need to mention about her. Her last, her final color swatch is supposed to be a tribute to Taki from Soul Calibur. Yeah, it's, uh, there's so many references in them. Like, uh, one of Peacock's costumes is a reference to Steamboat Willie, the original Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I should check that out. But, uh, yeah, you... I've, I've been playing a lot of Fortune Cerebella team recently. Oh, okay. But, uh, anyway, what I was saying about Skullgirls is that if you do button mash... Nothing's gonna happen for you. Well, especially considering a lot of the characters require like one of the things that skull that separates Skullgirls from other fighting games is that each character has like a very uh specific strategy. Like with yeah. Valentine you need to prime the syringes. And uh with uh with Parasol you have to uh uh you have to like put the uh you have to use like her napalm projectiles yeah. correctly. God, I'm itching to play Guilty Gear now that I've played some, uh... Yes. Now that I've played some Skullgirls. Actually, that was a good move because you could have jumped over that fireball, but you couldn't have been able to do that with the, uh, block in the way. Oh, you're almost at the boss, dude. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's do this! You gotta beat this guy fast. Don't screw around, man. You gotta beat him. Ah, alright. Hang on, I need to get him a little bit further out. Oh, darn it, he went that way. This is why I don't like using the cape during boss battles. There we go. Push. Nice! Mmm, Castle Crusher! And see, this guy's just like the uh, second boss. You yeah. just have to beat him faster. But yeah, Skullgirls is actually like. It's... Actually, you know, hold on, hold that thought for a second. Okay. I it never occurred to me, but how far will the walls go in? Is my question. That's probably as far as they go, because they went in every time I hit them. No, I've got them in closer than that before. Oh. And uh, I'm curious, mm. like, if it'll go to the point where it will squish you and not him. <laughs> Or it will just stop at a certain point, because I don't know if it does. Put my monocle on. Mario found his way through the forest of illusion and has put an end to Roy Koopa of Castle Number 5. Onward to the dangerous but tasty Chocolate Island. Chocolate Island! Chocolate Rain! <laughs> no? No takers? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but yes, uh, actually, every Thursday night at about, uh, what is it? It's about 10, uh, Eastern time, so our time. They do a, uh, a live stream of the Skullgirls, of, of what's going on in Skullgirls. 
Uh huh. And uh, it's just really awesome to see a company that's telling you every week, this is how far we've made the game better. So like, are they gonna add more characters? Yes. Yeah, because that that is like one my only minor complaint of Skullgirls so far is the fact that there's only like nine characters yeah. so far. And I know like one of them's DLC. Yeah. It's Is uh, that the way all of them are going to be, or is that just like early access? Um there might be DLC packs later, but for the time being, uh they're planning on making all the characters beyond the original eight DLC. Alright. I'll just pick the ones that I like, pretty much. Yeah. Because that's what, like, what Killer Instinct is doing now. And I don't mind that, as long as, like, you're given a decent selection of characters to start. Yeah. Because, like, I don't want it to be, like, you have to buy every single character. I want I want them to at least give the players some flexibility when they yeah. first start out. And, I mean, the original eight are already pretty flexible in themselves. Yeah. Like, I really wish all the characters were free, but... Yeah. They, they gotta make money somehow. Oh, God. Oh, gosh, it's my worst Oh, enemy. wait! Dolphins! Ha, ha, that's, that's the original name of the GameCube. <laughs> the dolphin. Uh, I'm glad they decided to go with GameCube, because it's a cube you play games on. <laughs> dolphin is... Well, after all, Dolphin was just a code name, but it, yeah. it's a pretty cool name. Oh, crap! Maybe I- Nobody saw that one coming. <laughs> yeah, well, I know it shoots you out, but I forgot you have to jump on that Koopa. Okay. It's all on me. Yeah, just remember, hold Y and right when you go out that pipe, Ricky. The second one, is it? Oh, hi, Yoshi. <laughs> Oh, hi, Yoshi, as I do my terrible Tommy Wiseau impersonation. Oh, oh, you could take him out, those guys out with one hit with Yoshi. D Darn it, Yoshi. Get your head in the game. Uh, uh, go back one. Yeah, that one. Just don't forget, hold Y and yeah. right. Gotta go first! Also, Yoshi can jump off the fish's heads. He can't take him down, but he... Oh, the cave The cave yeah. solves everything. Okay, yeah. why well, I'm right. I got this! Oh, and you're holding down the jump button. <laughs> and you hit the bar. <laughs> uh, that, was cer that was certainly a leap of faith that actually worked. 